What's going on, everybody? Jenna Ben94 here. Welcome back to Ben Builds. We're here with the Albatross. We are on episode number seven today, and this is the day that I'm going to be working on the fuselage, and we're going to try that wood finish. The entire fuselage has been overcoated with a desert yellow. It's dry. It's cured. We have our oil paints ready. We're going to go ahead and attempt to apply a wooden finish to this aircraft fuselage. Now, I don't know how to do this, really. I've read some tutorials online. I've watched some videos. And there are some amazing videos out there that show a beautiful, beautiful wood finish. I'm not sure if I can actually do something like that, but we're going to try it. So I've got my mixing palette out. I have three oil colors. We have some raw umber. We're going to take a little dip of each one of these. We have some yellow ochre. A little bit of squeeze right there. And we have some burnt sienna. I like burnt sienna. It's very nice and kind of a deepish, kind of orangish red color. Matches, I think, really well with the actual fuselage color that I'm trying to go for. And now we're going to mix this up. And we're going to hopefully come up with a color that we really like. And then we're going to cover the entire fuselage with this color. Then we'll be able to see how it looks. We'll come back. And then we're going to actually wipe it off using sponges. I have a couple of these sponges set aside, so we're going to run these sponges across the painted fuselage while the oil paint's still wet, and we're going to see how that works. Otherwise, guys, let's go ahead and mix this up, and we're going to try it out, see what we can do. All right, so the fuselage has been painted. Now it's time to try the sponge technique here. And we're just going to wipe the fuselage here with the sponges, hoping to remove a lot of the paint and to give it a little bit of texture. I'm not sure how this is going to work, but we're really going to push forward, give it a try. Let's do it. So we've finished off the painting on the fuselage, we've run the sponges across, everything looks pretty uniform and I like the color we've achieved. So now I'm going to go back through and I'm going to highlight certain areas and I'm going to give the wood grain a little bit of some variation. At least that's my goal. I've got a very stiff bristled brush and I've got some raw umber here that I have on my mixing palette and we're going to attempt to just kind of dirty up certain sections. We're going to try to add some knots, maybe some streaks, some wood grain uh, imperfections, hoping to get some form of really cool subtle shifts in color and, and just see what we can do with it. So I'm going to dab a little bit here on my brush and just going to randomly pick out certain areas that I feel need a little bit of um, interest. Then I'm going to take a nice soft brush, I'm going to come back through, and we're just going to blend them in a little bit so it's not so stark. I don't know how these fuselages really looked in real life, but from the pictures, you know, a little subtlety here and there I think works well. And as you can kind of hopefully see on the screen, we have a nice subtle shift. We have a little bit of wood grain showing here and there. We're going to rework a couple of areas. I like how this looks so far. Also, I'm going to take some pure yellow ochre, and I'm going to kind of draw it across. And then I'm going to blend it in with a little bit of my base color. I want to darken a few panels, lighten a few panels, give it a, a subtle variation between all the colors. Hit it once more with the sponge. And again, I'm just flying by the seat of my pants here. I'm really not that uh, 
proficient at this type of application, but I think honestly, it looks pretty cool and it's a really fun technique to do. So we're just gonna keep pushing forward and see what we can accomplish. And you can play with all sorts of different colors with this. Um, if I wanted to, I could maybe drop some different shades of like darker brown or lighter brown. I'm actually going to add tiny, tiny streaks here to, again, replicate wood grain. The whole idea with this is to give it some variation and to um, give it the appearance of being real wood. Now, I'm not very proficient, like I said before, at this technique, so we're not going to really achieve... 100% real wood grain, but I think it's going to be close enough for me. And, and like I said, this is my first time trying this. So this is a learning process for me. I'm going to blend in a little bit here and there. I don't want it to be too stark. I think if we just give a little bit of blend here, we have just a subtle kind of hint of some wood grain, some knots. Yeah, this is actually pretty nice. Okay, so I think at this point, we're going to blend them in and uh, just push on, see what we can do. So now we're going to add some streaks of burnt sienna. I really like that color. That's going to add another layer of subtle variations. And I really, really hope this turns out well. So far, I'm loving it. So let's see what we can do with that burnt sienna. So let's go ahead and do that exact same technique, but with the propeller. I've already painted over it with that nice desert yellow. So we're gonna come back through and we're gonna just paint exactly the same way with the oil paint. And then we're gonna come back, we're gonna use the sponge, streak it up, see what we can achieve. So I think this looks pretty decent. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my mixing palette here, and we're just gonna let this dry and see how it looks. Oil paints take forever to dry, so we will have a good week that we can focus on a couple other builds. I mean, I really had a lot of fun doing this though. I love how the fuselage turned out. I'm actually pretty jazzed about this. I think it turned out much better than I anticipated. So I'm happy. We're gonna go ahead and let that sit, let that dry. Once it's finally dry, we're gonna come back and we're gonna overcoat that in a clear yellow, maybe even a clear mixture of yellow and orange. I think those colors mixed together on top of this will give it a nice, almost like a, a glazed varnish appearance. And I think that's really, really going to help. Having never done this before, I am really quite excited to see how this is going to turn out. But again, we have a long way to go before this kit's going to be finished. We still have rigging to have to do. We have to weather down the wings and get those looking the part. So until next time, everybody, please get yourself some bench time, have some fun, build some models, and we will see you back here next week for another episode of the Albatross on Ben Builds. Thank you so much. We'll see you soon.